Team, today we're gonna do some air fried French bread pizzas on my Ninja Foodi grill. Y'all get on, stick around for this one. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen. So glad you're here. Listen, today we got a nice easy one for you. I love it, you love it, we grew up on it. My great aunt Stouffer's made these amazing French bread pizzas. You threw them you know, in your toaster oven, old school way. Crazy people out there would microwave them. Listen, I don't microwave my French bread pizzas. But we got these new contraptions nowadays called air fryers. And I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful, amazing, tasty, crunchy, crispity French bread pizzas in them. And it's gonna be that simple. The first thing we're gonna do is actually make a little garlic bread, get that toasted up, and then we're gonna make a pizza out of it with our sauce and our pepperonis and cheese, okay? As with any pizza I do on my channel here, you guys personalize it, make it however you want. This is just a little guidelines for you, but simple simple process okay not much more to it the ingredients are simple i bought turkey pepperoni in error <laughs> i didn't see the, the tiny little turkey uh, over the big pepperoni so i think that's how they got you so we're actually being healthy with our pepperoni today that's right anyway so we got some pepperoni got some shredded mozz a little pizza sauce butter some seasonings little garlic powder simple 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 stuff and a big old loaf of french bread from the store Cool. Nothing left to do but to get to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as My Kitchen Island. Y'all, you're gonna love this one. It's gonna bring back memories of growing up for sure. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get this thing going. Come on down to the, the grill station. Let's go. All right, before we get started on, you know, cutting up our bread, getting the foodie grill on, all that jazz. We're gonna make a little garlic and herb butter to start with our, uh, what did I call it? A little uh, garlic bread. So we got about a teaspoon or so, just garlic powder, not salt, garlic powder. A little Italian seasoning, same, about the same amount. Guys, I'll have a printable recipe to my website for this, so you have the exact measurements. We're gonna throw that in the microwave, mix it up. Stupid bell. Guys, we're gonna throw that in the microwave, about 30 seconds, mix it up, and be ready to go on the bread. Right, team, before we get cutting into that bread, we're using our foodie grill and griddle, but this could be done with any air fryer. Just using the griddle plate in there as just a placeholder for the, the French bread, right? The little pizzas. We're gonna cut the bread in half and then split it again. We'll have two pizzas going in. Perfect. All right, so we'll shut it down. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna use air crisp. All right. And I'm gonna take my temp up to 400. And hit preheat. All right, we are going to start off by making, like I said, the little garlic bread. We're gonna toast that for about three to four minutes, and then we'll pull it out, put our sauce, cheese, and pepperoni on there. So by toasting it like we're going to do, starting off with that, that garlic bread, right? We're gonna give it a little structure under there. So when we put that sauce on, it doesn't quite get as soggy as it would if we just had you know, non-toasted bread, right? We want a good structured pizza. So we're gonna add a little bit of that sauce on there, but it's already gonna have that butter and Italian seasoning, a little garlic. So all these flavors are gonna work really well together. And you just gotta kinda trust the process on this one. The total cook of this is not gonna take more than like 10 minutes or so, but just kinda trust the process, trust your eyes, and then your taste buds will thank you at the end, right? While we're waiting for the preheating, let's go ahead and cut this up to make our French bed pizzas. Just get yourself a serrated bread knife. And then all we're gonna do is it almost gives you a natural line right there. So we're just gonna cut it down this, the side. And with any knife, be careful. This bread is ultra fresh. Got it from the store this morning. Okay, looking good. It smells so good too. Mm, yes. All right, team, the foodie grill's ready to go. So let's go ahead and brush on our garlic, Italian seasoning oil on our bread. Give it a liberal amount of butter on there. We're not, these aren't the healthy French bread pizzas. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Heard that recently on a video I watched. That's looking outstanding. Like I said, about a half a stick of butter will do you right. All right, let's get our little pizzas on there. I'm gonna give these a toast for about, like I said, three to four minutes. And we'll check on them. We want it nice and toasty and golden brown on there. 
and then we'll start adding the sauce, cheese, pepperoni, all that. All right. All right, team, we let it go. Looking nice and crispy. That's not what I'm trying to say. Looking nice and golden. Time to build these pizzas. So we got garlic bread right now. Let's get the pizzas built. All right, so we got our fancy bobbly pizza sauce right here. I'm gonna just squeeze some on, about a couple tablespoons, however you guys like it. Got a little brush, you use a spoon. I go pretty edge to edge on these. That sauce will kind of caramelize a little bit in there once that heat starts hitting it. Got a little mozz, gotta have the mozz. Don't worry about making a mess. Part of doing pizzas is making a little bit of mess. Uh, let's lay out our turkey pepperoni. Can't believe I bought turkey pepperoni. You got me, Hormel. You knew I wasn't paying attention. You knew it all along. Now I'm gonna start a fight in the comments here, but I do it every time I make pizza on my channel. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? I say no, it doesn't, but black olives do. That's, that's my thing. I don't know why I don't have black olives. All right, so here's the deal. I kind of pushed it into the sauce, into the cheese a little bit. You're working with an air fryer, which uses air we don't want the pepperonis to blow off so we're going to add a little bit more cheese on the top too that'll help kind of glue it down and who doesn't like a lot of cheese let's get our pizzas back on shut it down another five minutes or so until the cheese is golden brown all right that's all you're worried about all right guys give it a peek we got some total so a little GBD, golden brown, delicious. Uh, it's looking too good. Beautiful pepperoni. Got some nice caramelization. A little char in there, if you will. Uh, it's looking too good, guys. All right, we're gonna take these out, get them on the cutting board, cut them up, and we'll enjoy them. All right, team, these are looking too good. Pepperonis curled up. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that Italian seasoning on there, just for a little flavor, a little extra color. You guys can hear the, the crunchy. Let's go ahead and cut a slice off. There we go. Whew, it's a little warm. It's looking good. Before we take a bite, I wanna get in real close so you can hear that crunch again. I'm gonna get my mic real low, all right. You know it's crunchy. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite. Guys, we are done. Thumbnail shot, everything's cut. Got me a little end piece here. Got a nice piece of turkey pepperoni. You're gonna get full crunch right here. My mic, <clears throat> my mic is right there. I can't get on my toes. My mic is right here. You're gonna get full crunchy sound. Let's go. Nah, that's not it. <laughs> crispity crunchy guys you gotta do that garlic bread trick first but trust me on that one just max flavor going on right now this is enough to make you forget about your great grandma stouffer do this yourself save you some money and they're way better trust me on that one okay so like i said earlier the exact ingredients list and you know instructions on how to do this this recipe will be on my website all right, I'll put a link down below for it. If you guys wanna get yourself one of these Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddles, I'll have a link down below for it too. My knives, the personalized cutting boards, merch, all that stuff, links are all down below. If you wanna become a show producer like all these awesome people right here, I'm sure all these people love pizza, just like I do. Hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit. Other than that, we are done. Listen, I hope you guys love this one. If you haven't already, comment, thumbs up, share, all that good stuff. But I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.